Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we're going to review this very interesting product that turns your Android smartphone into FPV goggles or FPV screen. So inside we got three items. We got this regular antenna, we got this device and a micro USB to micro USB cable. So it connects here. We have here this port that we didn't get any cables but you can power it. You have audio video five and ground connectors. You can use it also independently. And the micro USB port connects here on the bottom and the antenna connects here. In order to use it, you need to download an app. I'm going to include the APK link in the description. After you connect it to the Android device, it's going to load the app automatically, as you can see here. And when we will connect the quadcopter, we will uh, be able to see the video as I'm going to show you later in this video. So in the video, in this video, I'm going to perform a couple of tests. First of all, a latency test, and we're also going to perform a range test. And I used all the tests with this regular antenna. When using it, it didn't get very hot and it didn't consume a lot of battery power. It's, it's very light. The weight of this device, is 27.77 grams and it utilizes it uses the battery of the smartphone unfortunately it doesn't support uh, iPhones or iPads so you can use it with any Android device the dimensions are 55 millimeters by 33 millimeters so it's pretty compact and you can also use it with VR goggles and also as a DVR device. In order to scan for the right channels, you will have to long press this button. You can see now it scans, so it's not going to find anything. So let me connect the quadcopter and show you where it finds the right band. So now we're going to connect this quadcopter to power, power it up. And Let's press the scan button. It's on FedStrap 7, so it's 5860. And after it finished scanning, it goes to the signal that is the highest, and then you can just use it. You can see the picture quality is pretty good. By the way, you can also use it with goggles. You can put the device in these VR goggles and then you can use it to fly FPV. Is it possible? Maybe. We have to first check the latency of this equipment to see if it's flyable. Because if the latency is very high, you're not going to be able to use it for FPV. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, use a timer and see what is the latency of this device. Okay, so I point the camera on the stopper on the iPad and now we can perform the latency test. I'm glad to see that the average latency is 10 milliseconds so it's going to be usable for FPV. When you connect the device to the USB port it auto starts and remembers the last setting so for example if it was on split screen when you plug it again it's gonna be on split screen and it will also remember the band as I said earlier. You can also use it as a DVR recorder so you can just record, start recording, you can stop, you can also change between 16 to 9 to 4 to 3 radio and all the recordings are saved in the gallery. So you have this gallery where you can see all the recorded that you saved. Another nice feature is the ability to split the screen by pressing this button and then you can put it in every other goggles. And you can actually see that each eye is getting the same picture. And it's actually, the quality is pretty surprising and it enables you to get very cheap solution for FPV. You can just, for example, just glue it here and you have pretty cheap FPV goggles that utilize the screen of your device. 
In the next video, I want to show you how it worked when flying it, but unfortunately, I had some problems with my quadcopter, so I wasn't able to do so. So I just took it for a stroll by walking. In a second, you're gonna see the crash, and in the bottom right, you can see my recording from the DVR of my Fetcher goggles. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and see you on my next videos. Okay.